This is going to be just a quick sneak peek at some upcoming possible Retro Rickery projects. I'm not going to go into too much detail on them right now. Just a quick overview on what's coming up here. First is going to be this really neat old uh, 8088 base uh, Toshiba T1000 laptop, which was marketed as a competitor to, I believe it was the, called the IBM PC Convertible. This is going to be a restoral project and, of course, cleanup. Uh, it's going to be a fun one, I think. It, and from what I was uh, reading up on it, it looked, looked like it was a pretty cool uh, laptop for its time. I mean, one of the first. But I've got to find its power supply, which I know I have seen sitting in a cable box around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it belongs to a big brick that actually says Toshiba on it, and I think it's 9 volt, like this is supposed to take. And then the next one is yet another Toshiba laptop. This one is from the late 90s. This is uh, it's a Toshiba Portage. And I had it working at one time, but I'm not sure what happened to it, but I can't get it to boot up anymore. I think I might have been trying, I might have been, uh, had pulled the hard drive to back it up in another system. And, uh, I don't know, maybe I hooked it up wrong and now it just won't boot, I don't, or the hard drive could be dead, who knows, but... Like I said, not going to go into too much detail. The uh, video for that will talk about the laptop itself and the uh, external floppy drive. And also, it came with the spare battery and an external charger, but it just been using the same power supply for that, so uh, we'll just set that over there for now. And then probably before I do the video on the portage, there will be one on this uh, Toshiba Satellite Pro that is actually working quite well still. I've got it working, running with the Windows 98 Second Edition Lite, which was 98 SE with Internet Explorer actually stripped out of it. In fact, uh, if I remember right, this one deployed with me to Afghanistan, which was like in 2005 or 2006, and I got a lot of use out of it with old with the games I had loaded up on it, as well as ebooks and music and just some of my other uh, little projects I'd been working on at the time. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it after uh, I finish a minor refurbishment on it, which is probably going to just involve cleaning up the hard drive and who knows what else. But uh, the next one's also a Toshiba. It's really too modern for uh, the retro rookery title that I've come up with, but I got another section this will be going into. I uh, don't remember where we got this one from. I don't know if someone was just clearing out some of their old stuff and just uh, gave this to us. I mean, don't have a power supply for it, but I got one on order. And I surprisingly managed to get it uh, pretty cheap. Well, the guy had it to like 60% off, so I paid 12 plus shipping. And that was 60% off from his, I think he wanted like 40 bucks for it, which is in the range of what everyone else seems to be trying to uh, ream the buyers for on him. So, but at that price, and I figure I couldn't go wrong with it. If it doesn't work, then I can probably just flip the power supply and even turn a profit on it. And this, and the laptop itself could be parted out as well. Since I discovered it does have a GeForce, I think, 6900-something. Uh, I'll have to uh, look at the specs on it again, but that's, that's for later, of course. And then, of course, the big one here is the, pretty much the gem of our uh, 
old video game collection. Had this one since the 90s. Got it pretty cheap, too. That'll be a story in and of itself. It's one of the coolest video game consoles ever. The Vectrex from GCE. I'm really looking forward to doing a series on this one and even finally getting more cartridges for it, or at least the multi-cart if it's still available that was put out uh, quite some time ago. But anyway, that's it for this little preview of what's coming up on the Retro Rookery. And now back to my next showcase video, which will probably get, be getting posted before this one does.